go into that next on who is big tech. Um, let's see, who, uh, who are they? Look at that. They represent a trillion dollars. Oh, look at spelling in market <laughs> share. Um, it's on, on, the, the, on the internet side, you have like Google and Pandora, the YouTubes, so a whole bunch of internet people and ISPs and the, and the uh, yeah, more typos, a broadcast industry, uh, the clear channels, MTVs, the, all the networks the ra for radio and TV, the consumer electronics industry, um, like all the people, all the people who buy and sell us, you know, physical product, um, access on the internet, all those people use artists content to get eyeballs but the artists aren't compensated and you know consumers are you know getting tired of you know the phishing and the malware and it's, it's actually it's actually not just artists I mean the whole what Google they use anybody's personal information to, to uh, you know it's just artists happen to draw more eyeballs but you know Facebook is you know they say you own the copyright if you upload a photo that's what they say, but in the reality of it is, is that they also, if you read the fine print, it's that if someone's taken that photo and posted it somewhere else, it's it's not yours anymore. And and the, and the, it's it's a it's a it's a for private citizens. I just read this uh, lady in New Jersey did a uh, breastfeeding video, an educational breastfeeding video, and then somehow somebody got a hold of it and made a porn film out of it. <laughs> And then you have if you, the you have this like the EFF, which is Electronic Frontier Foundation, Public Knowledge Center for Democracy. All these are funded. They're like quote research institutes that are funded by by the by Special billions of dollars. Interests. And 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 it, what they're saying is is that you know oh information wants to be free. Well that that. They, they're kind of lying there because there's there's a big difference between f information being free and freedom. And one of the examples I like to use is like you know everybody likes hugs, right? So you know hugs are warm, they make the world a better place. But then if someone just like hugs you without your consent, then it's sexual harassment and groping. And that's that's and this EFF Public Knowledge Center, what they're telling you is that. You're, you, you can't control your consent. It's up to the internet. And it's basically a form of forced collectivism. I mean, it's, I'm all, you know, I've given this stuff away free. You know, Dead Kennedy's music, uh, lots of people have. But we do it at a time and place that where our consent is involved. And that's the really, really bigger issue for a democracy is that they're, they're funding, funding all this information in order to take away your right of consent. And that's what, you know, and artists are just kind of like the canaries in the coal mine. Yeah, um, that's something that people don't understand about copyright. Um, it's, it's in the Constitution, and it's, um, it, it originally gave artists ex exclusive rights over their works, exclusive. I mean, uh, for recording artists, you know, they don't have complete rights, they only have limited digital rights, and that's a whole other side issue. But the purpose of the Copyright um, Act and the law is to give artists incentive to create. And it's like, what's happening is if there's 45% less musicians, I mean, that's just one set of statistics. You know, where's the incentive to create anymore? I mean, this, there's a public good um, that comes from people creating you know, works. You know. The incentive to create is that you know, they'll write about you on Yahoo and you went viral. You know, <laughs> but it's you know it's, it's 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 crazy. All right, can we go on to the next one? Yeah, here's yeah. here's who they exploit, and uh, uh, you know those are all pretty obvious. Yeah, things. the musicians are first, but I, I like uh, like authors right now. Um, uh, a friend of mine from the band Cake, he was on an airplane just like a month ago, and the, there was two like blue-haired middle-aged ladies with the Kindles, right? And one had just gotten and was all excited about it. And, 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 and you, know, I, you know, I carried around eight books on this little thing. And the other lady goes, says, oh, here's a website where you can get all, any book you want for free. And so, so books are going to be next. Uh, one of the reasons they haven't hit as hard is, is pub, uh, authors still get big advances from publishing companies. And, and there's still a lot of, you know, heart, there's still a couple bookstores left. <laughs> But there's still hardcover and softcover stuff that's covered them. And like, and like the filmmakers, like 
basically an independent filmmaker has like two days to make their money back before it's like taken up to a cyber locker and distributed. Uh, one of the things that Hollywood does is they put them in a big theater for a month, and you know, and then and they don't give, they don't make it, they don't make a digital DVD available for a month or two, and that's where they make their money. Then after that, but I, I have some people that work in the down in LA in the movie industry, and they, they the movie productions are down 25 percent. And it's like, it's like these internet, they're like a bunch of 28-year-old billionaires with like no sense of the long term. You know, they're going to get in, make their millions, and get out. But in 10 years, you know, it's going to be, there's going to be this cultural wasteland unless something's different. And I like, to, I like to rephrase copyright. Copyright really is to protect the creator from greedy businessmen. <laughs> and this is why, well, going back to the EFF and public knowledge, they saying copyright is some out, outdated principle. It's been around for about, since the printing press for about 400 years. We've gotten this far. We've gotten, you know, we've gotten our democracy. And, and, and just because, you know, one of the reasons you have principles is, is as circumstances change, you have these principles to follow. You don't change your principles. That's why they're a principle. You don't just throw them out because things get a little difficult or a little hard or a little easy in this case, like copyright is, you know, harder to enforce. When you used to buy a vinyl record, you you know, you pay your five dollars down, you get the record. Now you just you know, we have these these organized crime really like like these Russian guys, you know, and, and Visa and PayPal are helping them because there's no cash on the internet. I, I digress. We got these points are getting mixed up so Here for our next one. How does big tech do it? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this is I got this from the oatmeal guy. He gave me permission. This is how monetization, and it also applies to your lives. You, know, you gather music, video, books, files from around the internet. And in the case of Facebook, you, your, your personal, your family photos, your trip. Host them on a website, slather them in advertising. Then if someone co claims copyright infringement, oh, it was the users who uploaded it. That's, what, that's the YouTube response. And then you cash six figure, but in the case of the case of YouTube, seven, eight figures, right? How much is one? How many figures? A you cash the you cash Nine, the checks. Ten, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a and math major, but that's a long, that's arithmetic, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but see, this is and and this is a Google search and see, you know, welcome to the official Dead Kennedys website, and then see all these ads over here. You know, we we spent years, build, you know, doing our art, and we've also spent years not selling out. You know, we've none, never done a commercial, a TV or radio commercial, and then see all these ads over here. And that Google's making money off of us, off of our labor, and we get nothing, and we have no say so what kind of ads. I mean, I I, I don't know if we made a slide of it, but there's a YouTube video with the Mormon.org, which was which was during when Mitt Romney was running. <laughs> And I also have one. I also have one. Uh, what's this? This one. What's the big? What's big tech's agenda? That's a lot of stuff. They have a big agenda. Oh. Do you wanna? That's your sheet, so you All have right. to go okay. with it. All right. Well, okay. They, they I, my, my, the, the thing is, is to make money. It's the okay. yeah. That's, it's to make more money. That was cut out somehow, but that's the number one thing is to make more money. Uh, they want to silence artists from speaking out about the rates. They want to uh, eliminate artists' rights to collective bargaining. They want to control the judges who determine the artists' royalty rates. Uh, and they are trying to use their present influence over Congress to change laws so that artists' rights are further eroded and to ultimately eliminate or drastically reduce copyright law. And what's more here? Unlimited free content equals more consumers, more advertising, more profit. See, so they want our content for free so that they get more consumers so they can make more money. That's the model right there. That's their business model. Free content, more consumers, more advertising, more money. And that's, that's how they want it to be. They don't want to pay anybody. They're trying to figure out any way that they can, you know, to not yeah, pay us. These first three are actually part of the, what's, what do they call it, the internet uh, yeah, fairness. That's, that's coming up. That's Radio Act, which outlined. is the, actually the Pandora bill. But I, but I, from what I understand, they had a hearing last week, and they didn't do so and well. it was starting to get really, really hit hard because it was basically it, it, it was uh, outlawing anybody complaining publicly about 
the pan, you know, the Pandora deal, the law was passed. This is the, this and, and the guy that the guy sponsored the bill didn't even know that was in there. I understand. That's right. He, he, he he's didn't like even at the hearing, the and people say, "Did you read this section?" He's like, "Oh, you know." Basically, if you said, "Oh, they pay too little," they could they could sue you. Uh, can we do this uh, YouTube thing? The one with uh, it was uh, big tech and the consumer. It's, it talks about the misinformation campaigns, uh, how it confuses um, like students that it's okay to do illegal file sharing. Uh, there's this really cool video that David Lowry has on his Tricordis website, and he yeah. gave us permission to use it. Oh, and here it is, go. right here. And it's just three minutes, but it's it's pretty funny. It's not, it's like the conversation that people have. 